Hello everybody, welcome back to another Borderlands glitching video. I had made this video before but I got super frustrated and started cussing at it and I didn't want to release that footage because I'm trying to hold my language back from media. So I'm going to show you how to get up except I'm going to have to edit a few parts out because it does require ghost jumping and unfortunately ghost jumping requires a lot of frames for you to be able to perform them optimally. Uh, and since I am only at 150, it's not really going to do super well. So I can at least show you what to do uh, in the first part. But on this part right here, I'm going to have to skip it because that's the worst part. But anyways, we're here in Headstone Mine. Um, down here in the bottom right corner, you will see right next to Sledge's Warehouse, the elevator right there, is this hill. So from this hill... You're going to want to go to this corner. My cat wants to get out. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Of all times for you to want to get out. Come on, baby. Go ahead. So... As I was saying, before my cat interrupted, uh, you're going to want to get on the hill and jump into right here and hold forward and keep jumping. You'll get a ghost jump. So hopefully I can get that on video. If not, I'll just skip it. I'll just do a grenade jump if you feel more comfortable doing that. If I can get that, I don't really know because I need to do something to get it without a ghost jump. There we go. So I don't think I have any health, no, no more health kits on me. So I gotta wait for my stuff to regen. Regening shields. So after this part, you're gonna have to either get up there or up there. I'll show you that right now since my health just regened. One, two, three. Doesn't matter which part you get onto. You can get onto this part, or you can get onto this part. It does not really matter at all. But this is the next part. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're trying to get up it. But then I'm going to stop recording midway, and then I'm going to change the clip after this into me being on top of the building because it's easier for me to ghost jump with more frames per second, obviously. So if I cut out, just know that's why. So you just sprint, jump, land on the roof, just keep holding forward and jumping, and uh, eventually, if you're not May, um, you will <clears throat> you will keep jumping up to the top. You get actually pretty high. I mean, if you have low frames, you'll get about like halfway up, maybe three the fourth way. But as you see with me recording, I can't really get up high. So I'm going to cut the recording right here, and I'll be back in 3, 2, 1. And it is two seconds later, and I am now up on top of the building. This is literally two seconds after I hit re stop recording on the last clip and tra transferred over to this clip. Uh, I instantly got up, because that's how big of a difference ghost jumping can be with higher frames. So now that we're on top of this, um, we can just turn this way. And right there, you can see that's Sledge's warehouse right there. So we're just going to jump on top of this right here and explore. I mean, from here, you can get pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to just run across this. And up here. And from here, you can see there's an invisible visible walls right there so you can get down there if you want if not does not matter I don't actually know what's in there because I've never tried uh, you can get up on the roof up here this is all solid so you don't have to worry about falling through or anything and I think this part right here is the only part that is not solid I do not know and I do not want to find out right now because I want to end the video on a good note so in here is just a slant. It's really cool though. 
because it's just like a giant empty room that they could have like done something with but didn't and we're finally going to get into sledge's warehouse and i'm going to show you both ways how to get into sledge's warehouse before he even spawns so you just come back down here to these little panels over top of the windows they're fake panels so you can just go right in um, now all these windows right here are blocked with barriers so you can't actually get through them but there is one that they did miss and that is this one right here you can actually just walk out at an angle just like that and you are in sledge's warehouse before he even spawns and yes all of the loot does spawn so you can obtain all of it beforehand i don't know why you would want to oh. <laughs> oh, that was random. Oh, sorry, excuse me. So, right here is the door. You can actually see it says use. Um, and it does work. If you actually hit the button, uh, it will spawn sledge. And the gate will rise, but it won't show it. Uh, one thing that I did want to show though is when I open this door and walk through it a little bit, the gate that's supposed to be right there will spawn. So let's open this door and just peek our head in. Ah, uh, see, there you go. Now this is blocked off. This is blocked off. And that door over there is still open. So actually, let's go. I want to show you the other way to get in before we actually do anything um, with Sledge. I want to show you the other way to get in. So actually, I'm going to cut video and I'll be back in two seconds. I'm back. We are now at the second part of getting into Sledge's warehouse before he spawns. As you can see, I'm now on the other side of the map. Uh, I actually came through from the spawn, went around the warehouse over here, jumped on this little hut right here, and then jumped over this barricade onto these rocks, and now I'm over here. Uh, this is where the door is that is the exit to Sledge's warehouse. This is where you go when you beat him, so you can go back to over there and turn your quest in. Um, I'm just going to show you really quick how to get in there, because it is the second way to get in to Sledge's warehouse before he spawns. So you just come over to the, the little uh, cement packs right here. Just go and jump on top of the front of this tractor. Make sure you have a grenade because you're going to need a grenade jump. Throw. One, two, three. And if you get it good enough, you can actually uh, grenade jump up there. But I'm pretty bad at like everything, so. One, two, three, four. And there you go. You are now in Sledge's warehouse before he even spawns. Now I did restart my game so I could spawn back at the beginning. That's why the great, uh, that's why the crates are closed again. Um, but I actually did want to show you what this looks like when I um, when I use the door right here without it being actually open. So let's see, because Sledge is going to spawn right about there. So we're just going to see what it looks like. This is going to move. Uh, gate's not even going to open, it's just going to be gone, and Sledge is going to spawn, so let's just show real quick. Yep. So anyways, that's it for this glitch. Um, there's nothing else to really show except for this little cool spot that I got to over here. Uh, it's nothing amazing, but I guess it's pretty fun if you like to do uh, glitches and stuff. But there's nothing really cool that you can do besides this. One, two, three, four. 
And that's about it because all of this is fake and stuff, so we can't really do anything. So, anyways, I want to again thank you all for watching. And until the next glitchy video, it's your boy Dim3D. Stay cool.